Welcome to the tribe. Today we have an officer that was fired after taking things too far while arresting a man in a wheelchair. I don't know why you would have to take things too far when a man is in a wheelchair, but I guess we'll dive in and find out and we can kind of unpack as we go. St. Pete's Police him. Chief says a former officer took it too far when a wheelchair bound man didn't want to go to jail. This should not be your first option. This isn't your first option. And that's what he did. He made this his first option. Who tases a person in a wheel? What? Wait, what? I, I mean, is it the taser? You like, all right. What? I'm so confused. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, dude, you got a warrant for your arrest. Let's go back to June when the manager of a convenience store called police and wanted 64-year-old Timothy Grant removed from the property because he was panhandling. Officer Matthew Cavender, who had barely been on the job with the department for a year, came, and when he realized Grant had five warrants, he tried to arrest him. Till today, I still can't exp cannot explain to you why that officer went to his taser. This is wild. So what also blows my mind is you can look at this two ways. This officer has barely been on the force for a year. So some people might say, oh, well, he's, yeah, yeah maybe he just, he got nervous or made some bad decisions because he's still relatively new i feel like it by, by the time you're a year in you're probably not making nervous decisions like that necessarily anymore if anything i feel like that's the sweet spot you, you've gained some experience you've been out in the field for about a year you've, you've you know you've been around the people and so on and so forth but you're also only a year out of training which means that you should have a lot of the morals and the and, and, and idea of what you should do in certain situations kind of still fresh in your head from those trainings which i would assume are like the most PC type of things ever. You know what I'm saying? Just because they have to fit certain standards and guidelines that are allowed. So it's just, to go off the hinge is a little bit weird to me. There was a struggle, and when he was on the ground, Chief Holloway says Grant tased the man who was not being violent four times. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so, I, and, and I get it. You shouldn't be panhandling outside of a place to the point where the person has to call the police. That obviously means the store owner asked him to leave. Didn't want to leave. Uh, the police came. Obviously, same situation. I assume that they initially gave him the option to leave. He didn't want to leave or was being difficult. Or at that point, they were already planning on, you know, arresting him and giving him a ticket because they got called. I'm not completely sure. However, again, the man is handicapped and, 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 it, and, and, it, and you, he was on the ground. So this is where I'm kind of confused, right? Like, unless it pops up that he had a weapon, which it doesn't seem to be because the officer gets fired. So it doesn't, it doesn't seem like there's any threat to the officer. The guy has no ability to walk and he's on the ground. How, how much of a, like, like, why would you need a taser to subdue a man that can't even stand up? There's no chance of him getting away. Even in his wheelchair, there's, there's no chance. Like none. And he's 60 something years old. You know how weak he probably is? How, I don't know how long he's been in that wheelchair, but your body don't always do well if you're not keeping up with working out, so on and so forth. I'm just, what the, what? The chief says this use of force was uncalled for. We had a process in place. The ch command staff looked at this tape, looked at the report, saw what the officer did, and took it right to the officer professional standard like they're supposed to be. And Officer Cavender is now fired. Chief Holloway Good. says he also charged Mr. Grant with resisting with violence, but the chief says that's wrong, and the charge has been reduced to resisting without violence. Grant's 85-year-old mother says she's happy to learn. I feel like, I mean, listen, he may have been resisting, and yeah, you could still give him that ticket, but I'm like, bro, I just let it all go at this point. So, like, come on. But that officer what? is now out of a job. I feel like just a bent on. Yes, yes goodness. goodness. To see him down on the ground and they tase him. See, I also feel like they should get in trouble though, right? Because if you feel like he did something excessive and should be fired, then that should then also go into assault, right? Like, I mean, you're causing pain and to, to a person that, and you're basically saying you took it too far. I, I don't, I mean, I, I get, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there should be charges as well, but at least he got fired. I'll take it. Like I'll that. take it. Mr. Grant is currently. Mr. Grant is currently in prison on an unrelated case. Officer Cavender could not be reached for comment. Kelly, this case has been turned. Yeah, so I mean, it, 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 the, the handicapped guys in jail, but he said they said he had warrants or, you know, so obviously he's doing things wrong. I'm not here to defend somebody who does things wrong as far as that goes, but there's a way of handling things, right? Like, yes, this this person could break the law and go to this 20 times over, but if it, it, I just don't see any reason, like, you're a fully able-bodied man who's gone through training. You're an officer. 
you have like you I just don't see a reason that you need to tase this man who literally can't walk once he's on the ground like you could go like I'm I'm not trying to be offensive but like you can go inside and grab a drink take your time have a little chat with the clerk go outside and and he's he's, he's not going to he's not going to be going anywhere so I I don't really understand the point I don't really get it uh yeah that's that's a weird one okay well sometimes some odd things be happening out here you know, and these are the people, these, this is the problem because people see videos like this and this is where the whole all cops are bad mentality comes from. So this is why people like him are, are just horrible for the police force because it's not helping the situation. It's not helping the situation at all. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys that are still here. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe. If you have not already, another video is going to pop up right here. You guys are legends. I will catch you next video, homies.